Hello and welcome to the next day of summer school. We are starting a unit called or uh, about race, racial tension, excuse me. Um, and we do this thing called ERWC, Expository Reading and Writing and Composition. Uh, basically, that's a fancy way to say uh, we're going to read uh, professional writers using the CQT model, uh, not maybe necessarily in the most traditional sense. Uh, and then you guys will write uh, CQT based writing. Um, and I should mention, uh, wrapped up in that, um, the end game for this one will be a rhetorical pricey on the article. If you're not familiar with that, it's a fancy, fancy, fancy term for uh, a clear and thoughtful, college worthy summary of an article. Let's take a look at the first couple of activities. Whenever uh, you get ERWC activities from Mr. Cross, you're going to always have a link to the article. I'm just trying to make it easy for you guys. That doesn't take me very much time to add for you. Um, if it's in purple, please delete it and change the information as needed. In this case, your MLA heading. Just trying to get you guys going with the uh, good MLA format habits. That'll come up later in the video as well. Let's get into the first couple activities. This first one is just what do you know about racial tension going on in the United States going on beyond our borders? Uh, borders uh, is actually a flashpoint as well. Um, if you weren't aware, there's lots of issues uh, throughout the world when it comes to race and racial tension. Um, maybe you know something about, uh, I've seen this a lot this year uh, with the George Floyd um, tragedy. Maybe you know something about the Olympics and Tommy Smith raising his fist. If you don't, you're welcome to look up the information. This first activity is a quick write, and it's meant to be a quick write. You guys, set a timer for yourself and knock this activity out once you work through the directions. Set, set a timer and don't write more than five minutes, and then make sure your information is accurate and submit it on Google Docs. I will be happy with that. The second activity is a generic version of the activity, but you're really going to need to look at the article. Follow the link, look at the questions. Think about your answers, write your response down here. Your response should fit on this page. It should not extend past this page. If you're not too close to the bottom, then I'm going to be forced not to give you credit for the assignment. Again, get close towards the bottom of the page. You do not need to go beyond this one page of writing. Uh, by the way, I think it's double spaced right here. Look at the questions. Here's the link to the article. Please, please do not answer these like a first or second grader one by one. Please write a half page response in paragraph form. Connect your ideas about the article. Uh, moving on, uh, vocab, I'm sure you've done this before. Do you know the word enforcement? Have you heard of it? Is it new to you? Please, when I ask you to write the definition in your own words, you're more than welcome to copy and paste, control C, control V from uh, Google definitions or wherever you get your definitions on the web. However, there is a strong correlation with understanding the words and you creating your own definitions as a quality act of practice. With, within six practices, you begin to understand a word. So I'm challenging you to make the definitions in your own words. That's what I mean there. So uh, you could do a quick Google define of enforcement and then you would learn that I was looking up some pictures for you guys so you know if you type define enforcement you'll get a definition you're more than welcome to copy it I missed the T but I could add it you're more than welcome to copy it in there however uh, I would encourage you the act of compelling observance of or compliance with law, rule, or obligation. And to me, there's the word force, which is to push something, to compel is to force something. So those words kind of relate. So I'm going to say it's uh, the act of pushing someone to do something. The act of pushing someone to do or to comply. And comply means to follow along, I guess. So that would be my own definition. Still a little bit googly, or excuse me, dictionary style, but uh, then again, I'm an English teacher. The last activity I want to share with you guys on this video is you need to get the sentence from the article. 
So let me show you a quick trick to that. So if you go to the article, I don't know how to let's see. Is that how? There we go. Give it a second to load. Really cool keyboard shortcut. You guys, the word was enforcement. I'm going to do Control F, keyboard shortcut. You hit the Control key plus the letter F. Uh, you hit the Apple key if you're on a Mac. And then you start to type in the word. Enforce should be enough. There's two in the whole article. Just take the first one. Getting some fresh air. Right? See how it found the word for me? I'm going to hit Control C, go over to my vocab doc. And I click in and hit Control V and paste it right away. So really cool uh, shortcut for you guys. Feel free to rewind and watch what I just said. Lastly, in this uh, uh, ERWC thing, if I don't see the quotes done with quote marks and then a citation, White is the author's last name. If you take a look at the article, Ness White. So that's where I got that from. You would put White and it's from the web. That's what your citation should look like. I will say this, guys, please, one, one period at the very end, not a bunch of periods in there. Thank you for getting started with these uh, first set of round of documents. There will be more assigned to you tomorrow. Remember, this is summer school. You're making up 16 weeks of coursework in just six weeks. Let me know if there's any concerns or questions. I'll do my best to answer them throughout the day. Thank you.